Hello, my name is Venkata Sakrit Velanki and I would be speaking about Nave Bayes classification. Nave Bayes Bayes classification P of C given X is directly proportional to P of X given C into P of C which is equal to P of X1, X2, X3 so on up to Xn given C into P of C. So C equal to C1, C2, C3 so on up to Cl. Difficulty Learning the joint probability P of X1, X2, X3 so on up to Xn given C is infeasible. Nave Bayes classification Assumption All the input features are class conditionally independent where P of X1, X2 so on up to Xn given C can be split into P of X1 given X2 so on up to Xn comma C into P of X2 given X3 so on up to Xn given C which can be further simplified into P of X1 given C into P of X2 given C so on up to P of Xn given C. Here we apply the independence assumption. Apply the map classification rule. Assign X dash equal to a1, a2, a3, so on up to an to c star if p of a1 given c star, so on up to p of an given c star into p of c star is greater than p of a1 given c, so on up to p of an given c into p of c, where c not equal to c star and c equal to c1, c2, c3, so on up to cl. Nave Bayes Algorithm discrete valued features First phase is the learning phase where we are given a training set S of F features and L classes. For each target value of CI where CI equal to C1, C2, so on up to CL, P cap of CI is the estimate of P of CI with examples in S. For every feature value XJK of each feature XJ where j equal to 1, 2, so on up to f, k equal to 1, so on up to nj. p cap of xj equal to xjk given ci is the estimate of p of xjk given ci with examples in s. Output f star l conditional probabilistic generative models. The second phase is the test phase where we are given an unknown instance of x dash equal to a1 dash, a2 dash, so on up to an dash. Here we have lookup tables to assign the label c star to x dash if p cap of a1 dash given c star so on up, so on up to p cap of an dash given c star into p cap of c star is greater than p cap of a1 dash given ci so on up to p cap of an dash given ci into p cap of ci where ci is not equal to c star and ci is ranging from c1 c2 so on up to cl here i have taken an example of play tennis training examples where we have days ranging from d1 to d14 Outlook of sunny, overcast, rain, temperature of hot, mild, cool, humidity of high, normal, wind of strong, weak, and play tennis of yes, no. Here in the learning phase, we split the example for outlook, temperature, humidity, and wind with play equal to yes and play equal to no. Taking the example of outlook, where we have sunny, overcast and rain. For outlook equal to sunny, we have play equal to yes as the number of days where outlook equal to sunny and play equal to yes divided by the number of days where play equal to yes which is equal to 2 by 9. And for outlook equal to sunny, we have play equal to no as the number of days where outlook equal to sunny and play equal to no divided by the number of days where play equal to no which is equal to 3 by 5. And for outlook equal to overcast, applying the same process and the same formula, we get 
play equal to yes as 4 by 9 and play equal to no as 0 by 5 and for outlook equal to wine we get play equal to yes as 3 by 9 and play equal to no as 2 by 5 moving on to temperature for temperature equal to hot applying the same formula we get play equal to yes as 2 by 9 and play equal to no as 2 by 5 and for temperature equal to mild we get play equal to yes as 4 by 9 and play equal to no as 2 by 5 for temperature equal to cool we get play equal to yes as 3 by 9 and play equal to no as 1 by 5 moving on to humidity for humidity equal to high we get play equal to yes as 3 by 9 and play equal to no as 4 by 5 for humidity equal to normal we get play equal to yes as 6 by 9 and play equal to no as 1 by 5 moving on to wind for wind equal to strong we get play equal to yes as 3 by 9 and play equal to no as 3 by 5 and for wind equal to weak we get play equal to yes as 6 by 9 and play equal to no as 2 by 5 overall we get probability of play equal to yes as 9 by 14 and probability of play equal to no as 5 by 14. Moving on to the test phase. Given a new instance, predict its label. X dash equal to outlook equal to sunny, temperature equal to cool, humidity equal to high, wind equal to strong. Lookup tables achieved in the learning phase are P of outlook equal to sunny given play equal to yes is 2 by 9. P of outlook equal to sunny given play equal to no is 3 by 5. P of temperature equal to cool given play equal to yes is 3 by 9. P of temperature equal to cool given play equal to no is 1 by 5. P of humidity equal to high given play equal to yes is 3 by 9. P of humidity equal to high given play equal to no is 4 by 5. P of wind equal to strong given play equal to yes is 3 by 9. P of wind equal to strong given play equal to no is 3 by 5. P of play equal to yes is 9 by 14. And P of play equal to no is 5 by 14. Decision making with the map rule. P of yes given x dash is equal to P of sunny given yes into P of cool given yes into P of high given yes into P of strong given yes into P of play equal to yes which is equal to 0 0.0053. P of no given x dash is equal to P of sunny given no into P of cool given no into P of high given no into P of strong given no into p of play equal to no which is equal to 0 0.0206 given the fact that p of yes given x dash is less than p of no given x dash we label x dash to be no